Hi guys, Happy New Year! This is the first Sugar Mama video for 2017 and I am so excited. Now, what I want to talk to you guys today is about loyalty programs. If you are a loyal shopper, you are crazy not to be a part of a loyalty reward program. Not only can this save you money, but it can actually help you become a better shopper because you find out about any upcoming sales, you can't find out about new products being released, any sort of promotions or discounts or even coupon codes that you might be entitled to. So those little savings can be actually of great value to you and your wallet. However, Businesses realize that loyal customers are actually incredibly valuable to them. It is very expensive for brands and companies to try and find or create new customers. So they realize that and they will create these amazing reward programs just to keep their customers and clients happy and loyal and continue to shop with them. However, the key with reward programs is to understand how they work so they can maximize the value for you and then maximize the savings for your wallet. And this is what this video is all about. So this video that I've made for you are my top nine tips out of how to get the maximum value out of your loyalty program. Tip number one is to actually be loyal. So I recommend that you have one loyalty program per one spending area in your life. For example, you have one frequent flyer program, you have one grocery um, shopping reward card, you have one department store loyalty program. That way, not only are the points neatly consolidated in the one account and can add up quickly, you also may be entitled to additional bonuses and savings because of your loyalty to that particular brand or company which means your savings can potentially get even bigger. Tip number two is value. Don't go and join a whole wide range of different loyalty reward programs if you don't use their products and services. It's a complete waste of your time. And we've all been in that awkward position when you're standing at the cashier ready to pay for something and they recommend or suggest that you join their loyalty reward program or even question why you haven't joined their loyalty reward program. If you don't shop there on a regular basis, don't waste your precious time or energy. Tip number three is read the fine print. Not only does this help protect you, but it also helps you understand how that loyalty reward program works. You understand if and when those points expire if there are any conditions in using those points. And it also enables you to maximize gaining more points. A classic example of this is Qantas, which is actually probably one of my favorite loyalty reward programs. When I read the fine print, I understood that if I paid a little bit more and got a different quality ticket when I booked my flight, I actually shifted to the next status and the benefits and perks that I got dramatically increased. And I actually began to value that airline even more. So I highly recommend read the fine print and understand how to work the loyalty program to your advantage. Tip number five is don't underestimate the small savings, especially over the long run. Say you're at the grocery store and you've done a great big shop and say your total bill comes to $200 and you scan your um, loyalty program card and you see that you save $15 off. Now to some people, they you know $15 may not be a great savings. However, when you're doing that on a weekly basis throughout the year, that really adds up. And over the course of five years, that, add, that savings could add up to about $3,900. Tip number five is partner up. Some loyalty reward programs have great associations with other businesses. So when you shop with those other businesses, you earn even more points that quickly add up. And I'm not just talking about credit cards and frequent flyer points. For example, Qantas have an online store and you can, when you shop through that online store and they have shops such as Q, um, ASOS, Woolworths, um, insurance providers, there's a whole range. Not only are you shopping with those associated brands, but you're also adding and accumulating more Qantas frequent flyer points and also potentially earning um, credit card points, which also then go towards your Qantas frequent flyer program. So definitely find out what other businesses are associated with that loyalty program. Tip number six is subscribe to your favorite loyalty program websites and follow them on social media. That way you'll be the first to know about any upcoming sales or promotions that are going on, any new products that they think that you might like to try from your previous shopping habits, any coupon codes, any sort of free shipping and delivery. These little things are really beneficial. And another great example of a rural program that does this really well is Woolworths. 
I know that they look at what's going to my shopping basket and they will suggest new products for me to try. They'll also let me know when there's a, a free weekend of delivery, which is always gets me. And they also let me know when my favorite products are on sale. So I really value that reward program and I always make an effort to shop exclusively at Woolworths because of this. Number seven is travel light. Gone are the days where you need to carry around with you a whole pile of those loyalty reward cards. You do not need to be weighed down anymore. There are lots of apps out there where you can take a picture of those reward cards and throw them away and it saves them for you. Or you can simply just download the app that's associated with that particular loyalty reward program. It's never been easier. Number eight is use it or lose it. Every single time, make sure that you either give them your membership reward number, show them your loyalty card, um, give them your loyalty app even. Do not forget, these are your points, you're entitled to them and you deserve them. These savings really add up and the more you use the loyalty reward program, the more your enjoyment and value you're going to get from them. And the ninth and final tip for loyalty reward programs is look for any special offers just to get you to sign up. As I mentioned, businesses really value loyalty programs and they understand that they need to get you hooked. And some of them will offer incredible incentives just to get you to sign up in the first place. A classic example is some of the credit card companies aligned to the airlines where they will offer you a large amount of points upon your application obviously being approved and you then using that card. But the bonuses of that joining that can actually be huge. Sometimes it's enough to even cover an airfare. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and these tips have been helpful. If you know of any fantastic loyalty reward programs that other subscribers and viewers need to know about it, make sure you put it in the comments box below. Also, as a little bit of a bonus for you guys, I've put in my description box below my top six favorite loyalty reward programs. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and I will put all the links in the description box below to make it nice and easy for you. Now, for next Monday, I'm going to be doing another video which really is going to raise the roof when it comes to your level of knowledge and understanding around investing in shares. So make sure you stay tuned. And I'm also going to be giving you a really important update on the $1,000 project because all the savings that I'm creating from using and making the most of my loyalty reward programs have been going to the thousand dollar project. So I've been investing more money, the passive income is growing and it is bubbling along nicely. So I want to share with you exactly what I've been doing. So I will see you later in the week for Lifestyle Love or next Monday for Money Monday. Ciao for now. Bye.